everything you're about to hear when you put on these virtual reality goggles and when you walk through this space really happened. And I hope people don't feel daunted when they walk by and they see the strange equipment because believe it or not, this is gonna make you feel like you're actually there, actually witnessing a real scene. It's an extraordinary opportunity to be building an immersive journalism piece about Syrian children refugees. This is one of the most pressing issues of our time. We make these pieces because we can put you on scene, make you feel like you're a witness to an actual event. You're not separated by a television or a screen, or you actually feel like you're there. I started out as a print journalist, and then I became a documentary filmmaker. Um, and so I took all that knowledge in my traditional journalistic skills and married it with my love of technology, and that's where the idea of immersive journalism came from. While the process is very journalistic, it's slightly different than, say, a broadcast journalist or a print journalist in that I have to start with audio that was captured on scene. Very difficult to recreate the feelings that one has in, when you're listening to evocative audio that was recorded at a real scene, at a real crisis. So when I begin these pieces, I need to start there. You start with what's the subject matter about and how do I get the right audio from which to build. Using this material, I then have to start thinking about what do we construct? We have to have the scene. So we need to have models with photorealistic textures built into the models. We've had to very carefully reconstruct through photographs, through video, using specific photographic textures, using 3D models that are made from real people's images to try to make you understand what it's like to be there, what's happening for Syrian refugee children. More than a third of Syrians have been displaced by this war. Over 52% of the refugees from Syria are children. And the reason we spend so much time on this recreation, rather than have you watch a video or listen to the audio standing alone by itself, is because of this astonishing sense of presence that this technology affords. You feel like you're actually there. You feel like you're a witness to this event. And if we can make people understand how difficult these circumstances are, perhaps they can actually start to think about what kind of change that they too can help bring about.